Saturday, August 10th. Agony still hasn't located any truffles. For the last two days, we have spent most of our time hunting. We had gone over the woods at the back of my lot pretty thoroughly by the time I made my last entry in this journal on Thursday the 8th. So, Friday, Agony and I cut across the fields towards the woods that grow along Bed Ends Brook. Midge refused to come along. She says that now she thinks the whole idea is silly and that we'll never find anything except possibly a few worms. It's probably just as well she hasn't been along because having a kibitzer around all the time is no fun. Also, she's been able to keep an eye on the barn and has sold 50 cents worth of worms. Agony and I went up and down the creek and then across the fields even farther to a big patch of woods over near Mount Rose. We didn't find a thing, but it wasn't such a waste of time as Mitch might have think. I saw three or four pheasants, a couple of mallard ducks on a little pool, and lots of squirrels, rabbits, and birds. I enjoyed wandering around through the woods, and so did Agony. Today I took my lunch and spent the whole day there. Although we took it easy and spent a good part of our time just looking around, we did hunt for truffles. I hate to admit it, especially to Midge, but I don't think we're going to find any. I've heard lots of people claim that America has everything. They're wrong. It doesn't have truffles. At least, this part of New Jersey doesn't. About 4 o'clock this afternoon, we went back by Bedensbrook near a small back road called Gilbert's Lane. Agony spotted a woodchuck and took off after him. The woodchuck went down a hole and, for some reason or other, Agony was determined to get him. Maybe all the digging he'd been doing for me made him think he was supposed to dig up woodchucks too. I was in no hurry, so I sat down to watch him dig. I guess he worked away for about 15 minutes, but naturally he didn't get even near the woodchuck. I could just see his tail sticking out of the hole, but a woodchuck burrow may go underground for 15 or 20 feet. I know because I've tried to dig them up with a spade. What's more, a woodchuck can dig faster than a dog, and even if Agony had managed to get near him, the woodchuck would simply have tunneled off somewhere else. I called to Agony and backed out of the hole. I noticed a black round object where he'd been digging, and for a minute I thought maybe we'd found a truffle. Truffles are sort of rough and warty on the outside though, and this was smooth. It turned out to be some sort of pot. It was really dark brown instead of black and looked something like the brown baking dishes that my Aunt Mabel uses for cooking macaroni and cheese in the oven. There were some odd little zigzag decorations around the top outside edge. There was only one chip out of it, so I decided to take it home to use it as a water dish for the rabbit. Midge was sitting in the barn at the desk reading a book when I got back. She looked up and said, Here come great truffle hunters! I didn't say anything, but started to wash off the old pot in a bucket of water we had watering the rabbit. What have you got there? Midge asked. I decided to get even with her for making so much fun of me about the truffles, and I put on quite an act. I handled the bowl as though it was something very valuable and washed it very carefully. Then I dried it. It's nothing at all, I said. Nothing important. If it's nothing important, why are you being so careful with it? She asked. I didn't know that I was, I said, but of course I had been. I took the bowl inside the barn and set in a big shelf under the front window. Then I got two bricks and put them between the bowl and the edge of the shelf so that it couldn't possibly slide off. I really had Midge's curiosity aroused by this time. As she watched me, she got more and more annoyed. Just what is so special about that old bowl? She asked. Why, there's nothing special about it at all, I insisted. I just don't want it to fall off that shelf and get broken. Well, it's certainly nothing pretty to look at. I didn't tell her that the only reason I brought the old bowl home was to use it as a rabbit dish. I'll let her stew all night, and tomorrow, if she's a little nicer, I may tell her the truth. 